Sora explained simply. Sora is an AI model that can produce videos from text prompts, and it does this by combining transformer techniques with diffusion techniques. Transformers are the engine behind language models and are what power ChatGPT. Basically, transformers are designed to predict words. That's how they produce sentences and conversations. Diffusion is a technique behind AI art generation. It works by starting with this fuzzy canvas and slowly clearing it back up into an image. Diffusion is basically predicting colors. That is, how do you go from random colors into colors that produces lines and shapes? I already have videos that explain how transformers and diffusion work, so check them out. When you put in a text prompt into Sora, it first uses a transformer to predict a more specific video script from your prompt. For example, the prompt, an apple falling from a tree, might get translated into something more specific like a red apple falling down vertically from the right branch of a tree in the center of the screen zoomed out. Woo. This video script will also specify stuff like camera angle, texture, animations, basically any other detail that could be inferred from a text prompt to create the video. This information then gets passed into the diffusion side, which is what creates the video output. Historically, diffusion could only create images. So how does it now create videos? Previously, we tried to use diffusion to create a lot of images or frames and string these frames together into a video. But the problem was that these frames did not align with each other and couldn't produce a coherent video. This approach didn't really get a sense of physics or motion, which is why back then, early AI videos were, you know, not that great like this one. Oh man. Sora solves this problem by using a new technique called space-time patches, which sits between the transformer and diffusion step. Now, OpenAI hasn't yet explained how space-time patches work in detail, but they did provide a basic overview on their website. But basically, space-time refers to space and time, which is basically physics, which is basically what drives animation in the video. And patch is basically a token, which is a fancy word for a fraction or a piece of a video. So really, space-time patches is a fancy way to say breaking down a video into smaller pieces to learn how things move. But technically, computers don't really understand how things move. What they're really doing is learning to predict animation. And here, what they're really, really doing is learning to predict change in color across frames. And to continue, change in color can be represented by change in color pixels. And each pixel can be represented by numbers. And computers love numbers. Sora is able to produce this sort of video because it was pre-trained to learn the animation of a falling object, which is really just a downward movement, which is really just a downward change in pixel values. For example, given a column of pixels, the color of the object will naturally go down over a period of time. And Sora learned from lots of videos. For simplicity, let's assume that Sora learned from a video of water falling to the ground, a ball bouncing to the ground, or the sunset, all of which involve downward motion. In each video, Sora breaks down the video into patches, and in each patch, it analyzes how pixels change, and from that, it learns animation, and from that, physics. And these so-called physics are recorded by Sora as numbers, or technically, probabilities which help Sora predict colors. And so to produce this sort of video, Sora starts off with a very fuzzy video. And using diffusion and space-time patches, Sora can predict what color to change to clear up a fuzzy video into the desired output. Space-time patches therefore allow AI to represent physics. It's also very format flexible. It doesn't matter if you're using phone videos, widescreen videos, short videos, or long videos. Sora only has to break down a video into smaller bits. And this allows it to process and produce any video of any format. And that's how Sora works, I think.